I think we've talked a lot in past years, and this is not new, but I think it's very important to highlight it again about the challenge of fifth generation cyber attacks. We've seen the different generation from simple network attacks in the 90s to the more sophisticated application attack in, two, in the 2000 and even 2010. And we are now in the fifth generation of cyber attacks. These attacks that are multi-vector, that get in from one place and attack in a different place, that hide themselves very well, that are polymorphic, so simple patterns or signatures don't work. We have to identify the behavior. We have to use AI technologies to identify them. This is a big challenge. But the biggest challenge is that most of the world, most of your organizations are still primarily using gen-free technology to defend against these attacks. And these uh, technologies won't stop, won't even detect the Gen 5 cyber attacks. So our big challenge is to bridge that gap, to go up to Gen 5 protection. So what does that mean? And maybe I'll recap here our background. We are now facing a huge challenge in this new world. The challenge of Gen 5 attack, a challenge of upcoming cyber pandemic. And this is like, the perfect storm for cyber. Business data is everywhere. The networks are open, things that were never open before the corona era. Your employees, your contractors, your vendors are managing your systems, are managing your clouds, are managing your networks from all over the world. So we are much more susceptible and we're seeing a huge increase in these Gen 5 attacks. So our attack surface has never been wider and it's our job to stop that and our job to make the world safe, especially as we are now much more dependent on cyber than we've ever been before.